Colin Kaepernick mm -hmm. uh, has, uh, you know, lots of opinions out there about uh, the, what he is doing, taking a, a, knee, taking a knee during a national anthem. Uh, mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? I really respect your opinion. What do you think? Uh, well, I mean, you know, with what's going on, you know, I'd rather see him take a knee than stand up, put his hands up, right. and get murdered. So, I mean, my... My my take on it is, it got to start somewhere, and if that was the starting point, I just hope people open up their eyes to see that it's really a problem going on, and something needs to be done for it to stop. And I mean, if you're really not racist, then you won't see what he done, what he's doing, as a threat to America, but just addressing the problem that we have. Right, not a threat to the game, not a threat to America. Nah, just yeah. yeah. I finally signed my contract. I mean, this is something I've been dreaming about since I was nine years old. And it's, I'm just blessed it's a dream come true. To get pushed by Michael running the route before me or get pushed by Amari running the route before me and I run the route the best way I can run the route, now we're pushing each other. 2,000 yard receivers on one team is not a fluke. That's just coming from the preparation, the hard work, and the mindset of knowing what we're out here for and what we're trying to do. The best thing I can say is learning from their ups and downs. Actually seeing the things that, you know, they messed up on, but how they're gonna respond. I've grown so much from taking this job as rah, rah, rah to calm down, be a professional, let the chips fall what they may, but when they're falling, make sure you grab them when it's time to grab them. We're gonna come out every day and we're gonna compete. And there's no days off. It's not an excuse not to be great.